Non-parametric regression is a form of regression analysis in which the predictor does not take a predetermined form but is constructed according to information derived from the data. Non-parametric regression requires larger sample sizes than regression based on parametric models because the data must supply the model structure as well as the model estimates. Gaussian process regression or cridging. In Gaussian process regression, also known as cridging, a Gaussian prior is assumed for the regression curve. The errors are assumed to have a multivariate normal distribution and the regression curve is estimated by its posterior mode. The Gaussian prior may depend on unknown hyperparameters, which are usually estimated via empirical Bayes. Smoothing splines have an interpretation as the posterior mode of a Gaussian process regression. Kernel regression. Kernel regression estimates the continuous dependent variable from a limited set of data points by convolving the data points locations with her. Kernel function. Approximately speaking, the kernel function specifies how to blur the influence of the data points so that their values can be used to predict the value for nearby locations. Non-parametric multiplicative regression. Non-parametric multiplicative regression is a form of non-parametric regression based on multiplicative kernel estimation. Like other regression methods, the goal is to estimate a response based on one or more predictors. NPMR can be a good choice for a regression method if the following are true. The shape of the response surface is unknown. The predictors are likely to interact in producing the response, in other words. The shape of the response to one predictor is likely to depend on other predictors. The response is either a quantitative or binary variable. This is a smoothing technique that can be cross-validated and applied in a predictive way. NPMR behaves like an organism. NPMR has been useful for modeling the response of an organism to its environment. Organismal response to environment tends to be non-linear and have complex interactions among predictors. NPMR allows you to model automatically the complex interactions among predictors in much the same way that organisms integrate the numerous factors affecting their performance. A key biological feature of an NPMR model is that failure of an organism to tolerate any single dimension of the predictor space results in overall failure of the organism. For example, assume that a plant needs a certain range of moisture in a particular temperature range. If either temperature or moisture fall outside the tolerance of the organism, then the organism dies. If it is too hot, then no amount of moisture can compensate to result in survival of the plant. Mathematically this works with NPMR because the product of the weights for the target point is zero or near zero if any of the weights for individual predictors is zero or near zero. Note further that in this simple example, the second condition listed above is probably true. The response of the plant to moisture probably depends on temperature and vice versa. Optimizing the selection of predictors and their smoothing parameters in a multiplicative model is computationally intensive. With a large pool of predictors, the computer must search through a huge number of potential models in search for the best model. The best model has the best fit, subject to overfitting constraints or penalties. The local model NPMR can be applied with several different kinds of local models. By local model, we mean the way that data points near a target point in the predictor space are combined to produce an estimate for the target point. The most common choices for the local models are the local mean estimator, a local linear estimator, or a local logistic estimator. In each case the weights can be extended multiplicatively to multiple dimensions. In words, the estimate of the response is a local estimate of the observed values. Each value weighted by its proximity to the target point in the predictor space, the weights being the product of weights for individual predictors. The model allows interactions, because weights for individual predictors are combined by multiplication rather than addition. Overfitting controls understanding and using these controls on overfitting is essential to effective modeling with non-parametric regression.
Non-parametric regression models can become overfit either by including too many predictors or by using small smoothing parameters. This can make a big difference with special problems, such as small data sets or clump distributions along predictor variables. The methods for controlling overfitting differ between NPMR and the generalized linear modeling. The most popular overfitting controls for GLMs are the Achaic Information Criterion and the Bayesian Information Criterion for model selection. The AIC and BIC depend on the number of parameters in a model. Because NPMR models do not have explicit parameters as such, these are not directly applicable to NPMR models. Instead, one can control overfitting by setting a minimum average neighborhood size, minimum data, predictor ratio, and a minimum improvement required to add a predictor to a model. Non-parametric regression models sometimes use an AIC based on the effective number of parameters. This penalizes a measure of fit by the trace of the smoothing matrix, essentially how much each data point contributes to estimating itself summed across all data points. If, however, you use leave one out cross validation in the model fitting phase, the trace of the smoothing matrix is always zero, corresponding to zero parameters for the AIC. Thus, NPMR with cross validation in the model fitting phase already penalizes the measure of fit, such that the error rate of the training data set is expected to approximate the error rate in a validation data set. In other words, the training error rate approximates the prediction error rate. Related techniques NPMR is essentially a smoothing technique that can be cross-validated and applied in a predictive way. Many other smoothing techniques are well known, for example smoothing splines and wavelets. The optimal choice of a smoothing method depends on the specific application. Non-parametric regression models always fits for larger data regression trees. Decision tree learning algorithms can be applied to learn to predict a dependent variable from data. Although the original CART formulation applied only to predicting univariate data, the framework can be used to predict multivariate data including time series.